This short video shows mowing the glade at the centre of Century Wood using the scythe mower that's inside this trailer. Walking around you can see just how much growth there is now. Some of it's grass, but there's also nettles, cow parsley, sticky weed, and even the odd bracken here and there. That loud bang, by the way, is a bird scare in the neighbouring farmer's field. It's about 300 metres away, and it goes off every half an hour or so at the moment. I'm coming up to the log cabin now, and round the back here and down the side, uh, it's the same story. One thing I do want to mention is this young poplar that's maybe about 10 years old. It sprouted from one of the trunk sections that I edged the glade with when it was first established and you can see how well it's doing. So we're coming up here to see the trunk section which is mostly rotted down apart from the pit that survived and became the roots of the, uh, the new poplar. And then looking back at the glade and to the trailer, and you can see how much work there's to be done. So this is the scythe mower itself. The PPE I use with it is gloves and a chainsaw helmet with a visor and ear defenders. It's basically a pe petrol head tr trimmer on wheels, and the wheels are powered for you. So once it gets going, it's pretty relentless and also noisy, so I'll shut up while it's running. There's a bit of noise here from a light aircraft, but you can see the effect the mower has had. The ground is a bit crunchy underfoot now from the hollow stems of the cow parsley, but it's an open space again for a picnic, to kick a ball around or just to sit. Repeated mowing also shifts the balance in this part of the wood in favour of grasses and away from nettles and especially patches of brambles which can be quite dangerous for children. This point is the start of a ride going off from the glade, which I also mowed in the same way. One thing I should mention is that I've never come across ground nesting birds whilst mowing, either with a scythe mower or with a brush cutter before that. This might be because the wood has a lot of buzzard activity. They perch on the edge of the glade or patrol the rides below canopy height, and I expect that would discourage nesting out here in the open. If you want to see more videos like this about century wood, please click on the subscribe link at the end. Thank you.